The man suspected of plowing his van into pedestrians as they walked on Young between Finch and Shepard in a frightening standoff with Toronto police. One officer this afternoon. Now the suspect is seen pointing an unknown object at the officer who shouts back, get down or you'll get shot. A second video shot moments later appears to show the same man being pressed up against the back of a squad car after being apprehended. Now, CBS News says it has identified the suspect as 25-year-old Alec Manassian. Now, that is just unconfirmed right now. It has been an horrific day here in Toronto in the north end of the city. The terror that unfolded here. We are at, at Earl Haig Secondary where the mayor spoke earlier and we were expecting the premier to speak. But uh, it's just a few blocks over from the horrific scene that unfolded through the day today starting at about 1.30 when the van jumped up onto the sidewalk and it was a rental van jumped up on the sidewalk and started heading southbound from Finch along Young Street hitting people as they went. Now witnesses who were there stunned by what they watched unfold and what they saw. On the sidewalk southbound on Young. Yes. And he was hitting? Anything that comes in the way. There's people. People, uh, fire hydrant, there's mailboxes being run over. People just walking, he go in front of people, he hit everything. Post the post the box, uh, everything. I came out on my break and he was lying on the ground. I'm so shaken up. We literally stepped out of the restaurant and saw a dead body on the floor. And we thought that somebody just got hit by a car. There was only one cop car there. But then as we started to look up and down, we could hear more sirens, we could hear the helicopters, and then we see that there's police tape everywhere. Now, it was a, a terrible scene. Police now confirming that nine people are dead. Sixteen others were sent to various hospitals, Sunnybrook being the main one where the victims were taken. Uh, several of them are listed in critical condition right now. We'll have the latest from Sunnybrook coming up in just a bit. Uh, now, the mayor did address the media just a little while ago to talk, share his thoughts on what happened. It was a horrific scene on Young Street. When I walked up, just the, the remnants that you would see, there was a shoe on the ground, a fire hydrant torn from the ground. This is the impact of the van and of course the tarps covering the bodies of the victims at the scene. It was a terrible, terrible thing to witness walking up there, but thousands of people, of course, are in that area, and the mayor sharing some thoughts about it today. We have, uh, are in the process of establishing two uh, hotlines, uh, two response lines for people. Uh, the first and most important is for the uh, families of those who are worried about loved ones and are trying to inquire about the, uh, the, 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 uh, the well-being of their loved ones. And, and uh, I don't have the number at this very moment, but they're in the process of being established as we speak, and we'll have that information for people uh, very shortly. And the second one is one that will be established separately, which is for people who uh, can help the police in any way. If people have any information whatsoever about this terrible uh, incident, uh, we're asking that they uh, should uh, contact the police through this number that we will make available to you at the same time as we make the one available uh, for the uh, families. At this, is, this time, what is known to us is we have located that vehicle. The driver is in custody right now and he's been investigated to the events that took place this afternoon. I, could, I also want to offer my condolences to the families and the victims of this tragic event that took place. We can confirm for you tonight, right now, we have nine people that are dead, 16 that are injured. Toronto Police Service has mobilized all available resources, and I can assure the public, all our available resources have been brought in to address this tragic situation and to investigate this situation. And I also want to assure the public, the rest of the city are adequately policed by our other resources. And this, of course, is a massive investigation. Young Street is expected to be closed for several days just at the scene here, of course, for the investigation. To give you an idea of how big this scene is, take a look at the map, of course. This man drove up onto the suspect, drove up onto the sidewalk at Finch and ended up being arrested, or the suspect was arrested down on the other side of Shepherd, and uh, all along the sidewalk, of course, was where the uh, driver was going with the rental van. Many people were out enjoying the beautiful afternoon at uh, Empress Avenue. There were scenes all the way along here. And uh, for the latest on the suspect takedown, of course, that was the dr dramatic part. Uh, we go over now to Cynthia Mulligan. It's in. 
And Roger, I'm at Mel Lastman Square. As you were saying, nine people dead. Three of them are right behind me on the sidewalk. Their bodies are covered by tarps with police standing by. This whole area is in lockdown. This is where the van went by on its deadly mission going down the sidewalk from Finch to Shepherd, about a two kilometer route. Uh, it took out mailboxes and, and signs, metal sign were crumpled in half and I saw a lot of blood on the sidewalk. It appears at least one of the victims was dragged. Now, the suspect was stopped by police at Shepherd, not far from me, south of here. And there was cell phone video taken of the takedown. And it's quite uh, remarkable to witness because this man, uh, apparently the suspect pulled something out, uh, either a gun or a cell phone, we're not sure yet which that was, and pointed it at the officer, which must have been a very uh, tense situation. The officer slowly approached the man. One woman told me that he kept telling the suspect to drop it, to drop it. Uh, eventually, the man uh, uh, was taken down by police, face down, put in handcuffs. Uh, quite remarkable that police were able to do that under such pressure and under these circumstances. What can we tell you about this man? Well, we know that CBS News says they have identified the suspect as 25-year-old Alec Manassian. Uh, we are chasing that and uh, going to find out as much as we can about this alleged suspect as we can for you throughout this show. Again, three people are dead here, nine people in total taken to hospital, and loved ones must still be frantic trying to identify their loved ones or know if they are part of this tragedy or if they are somewhere safe.